You are watching Word Today God's TV Network. To God be the praise, glory, honor, adoration, power, dominion, majesty, all thanksgiving, all praises, all honor, all adoration belong to our gracious Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to our Lord and Savior, precious Jesus, and to the Holy Spirit precious Holy Spirit. Seeing that we give thanks to you, Father, blessed is the Lord God Almighty, to whom all thanksgiving is becoming. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you in the precious name of Jesus for what you are going to reveal to us today. Let all those who are watching be blessed, O Lord. The same anointing that is in this room, the same anointing that is in this studio. Father, let the same anointing be in the home. And everywhere this word is being received, O Lord, by your Spirit, O Lord. We call all those who are watching blessed. We call the sharing of the gospel of the, of the gracious gospel of Jesus Christ blessed. And we call the word to them platform blessed in, pre in, the, in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, we welcome you as we continue in our series, Faith, Hope, and Love in the Kingdom of God. My name is Brother Bear. You are watching the Word Today platform brought to you by Benjamin John Ministries. We will continue from where we stopped last Sunday. If you recall, we talked about the benefit of salvation is one of the most important, is the most important benefit that we receive in the kingdom of God. We say salvation is not just that you get born again and then you hope to go to heaven, but that in addition to being able to go to heaven when you finish your assignment here on earth. Right now, there are certain things in the, in, that are given to you in the benefit of salvation that will enable you to do the work that God has called you here on earth. God brought you to this earth for the purpose, to bring glory to His name, to fulfill the assignment that He has given you. We mentioned that there are so many blessings. For example, we talked about cleansing from sin. We talked about redemption. The benefit of redemption we talked about the benefit of justification we talked about the benefit of reconciliation we talked about reconciliation which is one of the benefits of salvation and we talked about peace with God that was where we stopped peace with God now we are going to continue with the a remaining part of uh, the benefits of salvation. The very benefits, the great things that God has done for us. So let's talk about access to the throne of God. Access to the throne of God. Let's open our Bible to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians. Chapter 2, verse 13, and I read, the Bible says, But now in Christ Jesus, but now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. So you see that one of the benefits, the greatest benefits of salvation is that we have access to the throne of God because of what Jesus has done for us, his blood that he shed for us because of the victory of the cross of Christ Jesus. So now we have access to the throne room of God. That's a good place to say a big amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise Jesus, hallelujah. So access to the throne of God. We also have another benefit, which is that our conscience is purged from dead works. In the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, verse 13, let's read Hebrews, 
Hebrews chapter 9, verse 13. The Bible says, For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkled, sprinkling, heifer sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, verse 14, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God? So one of the one of the benefits of the, the gift of salvation is that our conscience has been purged and is continually purged from dead works so that you don't have to let the enemy remind you, remind you what you did 20 years ago. You are not in Christ Jesus. You are born again. You are a new person. That is the cross erase your path. The newness begins. You have a brand new day, brand new season, brand new week, brand new life, so that your conscience is purged from dead works. Also, all of the thoughts that come from, from the other side, because you plead the blood of Jesus, is able to protect your conscience from dead works. And you have the mind of Christ, and you think only the thoughts of God, which is the will of God, and that is the word of God. So the thoughts of God is documented in the Bible, and that is how you answer any unclean thoughts. You speak the word of God and repel them. Praise the Lord. So, now, one of, one of the, another important benefit of our salvation, the gift of salvation, the benefit of salvation in the kingdom of God is our communion with God, our communion, our fellowship with God through the Holy Spirit. First Corinthians chapter, chapter 10, verse 16. Let's go there. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 16. And I read, the Bible says, The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The, bl the bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? So that the, the bread, that is the true, the, true, the, true, the true bread of life that came from heaven, the flesh of Jesus, give us access to the throne of God in a living way. And the blood of Jesus Christ has cleansed us and made us righteous to stand in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. And have communion, have fellowship, and talk to our Heavenly Father and have conversation. This is a very powerful relationship. So that you don't need an interlocutor. You only need Jesus and the Word. Praise the Lord. The blood of Jesus communicates His presence. His divine living fellowship, indeed, in us, with us, on us, and walking through us. Praise the Lord. So that this is a very powerful benefit. When you play the blood of Jesus next time, and remember all of these things, all of the benefits. Praise the Lord. And also, another benefit of this kingdom is that, of this kingdom of God, that the benefit of salvation in the kingdom is that we have covenantal relationship with God through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20. Hebrews 13, verse 20. Let's go there. Hebrews 13, verse... The book of Hebrews 13, verse 20. And then read, the Bible says, Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, that gave shepherd of the sheep to the blood of the everlasting covenant. So we have this covenantal relationship with God through the blood of Jesus Christ. A covenant is really, really important because now we are the beneficiaries of the sworn oath that God made with His Son by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie. First, that God sent His Son on earth to come and die for us, and then he swore by an oath. Can you imagine that? And God watches over his word to perform it. He says it, it's ours, it's, it's ours to take when we see it, when the Holy Spirit reveals it, reveal the, the, the blessing to us. Here, you see that we now have a covenantal relationship with God through the blood of Jesus Christ. This is a relationship of covenant. A covenant relationship, it means no divorce from the Lord, full acceptance of his church, 
his bride. He will treat his church as his bride for all eternity. That is why nothing can be able to separate you from the love of God. He shed his blood in love for you. Think about it. Imagine it for a moment. They are the Almighty God, ancient of, of days. We send his son, who is also the Almighty God, to come here and become a man because of his love. And was crucified by his created beings, humans. He loved humankind so much, he loved mankind so much that he came to restore us back with the Father. And through his blood now, we have a covenant. The Bible is a book of covenant. God said it, he will make it come to pass. Set through the deep truths. Very, very deep truths. This covenant cannot be caught. It's forever established eternally. That is how he will treat his church, his bread. And you are his church. Not a church building. Not a congregation. It's good that we'll be in the congregation, but your, our focus should be on Jesus while we honor those that he has set to be a blessing to us. There is, no, there, is there is salvation outside a physical church building. There is salvation outside a congregation or a denomination. But there is no salvation outside Christ Jesus. This is the covenant. So Jesus is our focus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, we take another benefit, you know, because... The birth of Jesus Christ now gives, gives us, believers, a throne and a priesthood in one, in Christ Jesus. Benefit of salvation. Let's go to Revelation chapter 1, verses 5 to 6. Revelations, Revelation chapter 1, verses 5 to 6. And I read, the Bible says, And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto whom that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. God has made us, Jesus has made us unto, unto his Father. He has made us kings and priests unto his Father. This is the benefit of salvation. What is the function, the role of a king? To decree a matter. What do you decree? The will of God, the word. And what is the benefit, the, the role of a king? To search out a matter. And we are pleased to minister unto him and be a blessing to, man, to, 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 to humanity. Praise the Lord. God has done our things for Brother, you know, the blood of Jesus gives us a throne and a priesthood. In one, Christ Jesus. He has made us kings and priests unto God our Father. A king means I have a kingdom. A priest means I have an office. That is why no one can... Now that you have heard the word of God and that you have received this word that you have heard, you may be wondering, but Ben, what must I do now? Very simple. Believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He is the Messiah, that He came here in the flesh, He was manifested in the flesh, fully He declared the Father, full of glory. And then He was crucified for you and I. And not only that, on the third day He rose again. Now, because he ever lived, that means that you have life. Because if you receive him now, there is life of Christ that will be in you. So that the life you live going forward is Christ who lived through you. What a marvel. That's a good place to say thank you. And salvation is available for you in your household today. How do I know? Because in the book of 2 Corinthians, 
chapter 6, verse 2, the Bible says, and I read it. For he said, I've had thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Brethren, whatever you are going through today, right now, is the day of salvation for you and your family. That is, when you receive Jesus today as your Lord and Savior, He will come into your life. And grace is available for you to do it now. Look, you are not promised tomorrow. But when you have Jesus today, when you receive Him, then you are today, your tomorrow and future is guaranteed because you ever live there, you will have life. And grace is made available for you to make that decision today. Because the Bible speaks in the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 11 says, and I read, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation had appeared to all men. Brethren, that grace of God is appearing to you right now, this grace. Faithful, unspeakable. So receive Jesus today as your Lord and Savior. Now, here's the best part. After you've received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, He is now your salvation in all things. For example, you need a job, He is your salvation. You need money to pay your mortgage, He is your salvation. You need a car, He is your salvation. Because everything you need all that you need for life and godliness is in Him. So, brethren, these are benefits unspeakable that everything you need in life is all in Him. So, receive Jesus today as your Lord and Savior. Are you ready? Let's do it. Lift up your right hand and put on your chest or your two hands in total surrender. And repeat after me. Almighty Father, I believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my life and be Lord over my life. I ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I believe I'm now born again in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, you are. We are now born again. Congratulations. All of what you have heard is now yours. The blessings, the covenant promises, they are here and amen for believers. And for you that have just dedicated your life, if you miss it before, it doesn't matter. Now that you have recommitted your life to Christ, begin from where you are, He will lead you. Praise the Lord. We would like to hear from you your good report, your testimonies, and your praise report. Or if you need prayer, we'd like to hear from you. So go to our website, goworldtoday.com, and click contact us or request prayer. And we'll be glad to respond to you. As you are being blessed by this broadcast, and you are wondering how can you get involved, we encourage you. As God has really stirred your heart up to really obey God and find out how you can partner with us in prayers, in the giving of your resources and your finances to help us get this work done. So, again, reach out to us, go to our website and click contact us and request, request partnership details. We would love to hear from you, and we're looking forward to hearing from you. Brethren, we thank you for joining us, sweet brethren. We really appreciate you. And it's time for us to take an offering today. We do this because God commands it. It's the word of God. And uh, in the Bible, say in the book of Galatians chapter 6, verse 6, it says, let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that is that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. 
For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in doing well. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Brethren, this is an opportunity to sow into the spirit. We have been dealing with the word of God. God commands us to take offering that he that is taught also, that is so letting that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. The Bible, the word of God is all good things. So, as you sow your seed to this ministry, to this platform, in your giving, in your sacrificial seeds, in tithes, in partnering with us, you are sowing into the spirit. And the Bible says that as you sow into the spirit, you will reap life everlasting. That means life of no limit. Now, eternal life is now a current possession and also in the world to come as we now know from the book of John. So that as you have measured to us, God will also measure back unto you and cause blessings to come upon you. So as you prepare your heart to give, we pray that the Lord will put it in your heart what to give. And as you sow this seed onto a good ground, that the seed that you have sown, that God will bless that seed. And we also pray that it will abound in grace, which is 2 Corinthians chapter 9, chapter 9, verse 8. The Bible said, And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound unto every good work. This is our prayer for you, that grace for every good work, everything that you need to do, that grace is made abundantly available. All grace, not, not some. All grace. And that may we give unto you, shaking together, pressed down, running over, they will add unto your bosom. This is a good ground. The gospel of the kingdom is the power of God to prosper you. You are sowing into the spirit. Expect the gospel. Expect the spirit of God. Expect the kingdom system of God to go to work for you, to come and take care of it that concerns you. We thank you for your giving. We call you blessed. The Lord replenish your source. And we look forward to seeing you tomorrow in our next broadcast. God bless you. Now follow the instruction for giving. It's on the website and all your instructions.